Hey guys, it's Eugenia. I'm outside today in the beautiful outdoors. A lot of bugs, hopefully they don't get near me. Oh, there's like people screaming out here. Why are there people screaming out here? Anyways, you guys, so yeah. My family is inside the house. Well, most of them, well, some of them, not all of them, but some of them. I really like my family. Like, they're really cool and nice and stuff like that. But you know, sometimes they're just kind of crazy. That must be why I'm so insane. It must just run in my blood or something. Because I've kind of realized that all of my family is kind of crazy too. In their own ways. And I just figured I would talk about some of the ways in which they are crazy today. My dad doesn't tend to ever remember my birthday or my brother's birthday. Or basically any birthdays or things like that, I guess. I think he knows my mom's birthday. Let's hope so. That's my mom. My crazy mom. She's cool though. She always sings to the dog and she makes up like her own songs. And she sings this song to him over and over again. It's a song that she totally came up with on her own. I don't think you guys want to hear it, so I don't think I'm going to sing it. But these are the words. I go to the river. I go to the sea. And she used to do this like rap kind of thing where she would be like, to the sea. But now she's changed this since then into more words. To see the one I love. To see the buzz. Because the dog's name is Buzz. So I don't know if it's some kind of like weird like bestiality kind of song. Let's hope not. Bestiality is not a good thing. At least I don't think it's a good thing because I like animals, so I don't encourage bestiality. She also comes up with all these weird nicknames for the dog, such as Nane. I don't really get where you get Nane from the name Buzz. I think one day she suddenly was thinking about Lilo and Stitch, and ever since then, she's been calling the dog Nane more than she calls him its actual name. In the past, she's had other weird names for the dog also, such as Boons and Boonzy. My grandma's probably the craziest of everybody. She will always just call the house on different holidays and wish us a happy whatever day that it's not I think it was Halloween and she called and she was like Merry Christmas she also call on days when it's not any of our birthdays and she sends to think, think it's her birthday and she's like happy birthday actually just the other week she called my mom and she wished her happy birthday when my mom's birthday wasn't even for another three weeks my brother is 17 years old I know a lot of people like Disney but he's like obsessed with Disney we go to Disney World kind of a lot because he always just like begging to go to Disney World and stuff like that he actually goes around and meets like all the characters and he gets so excited over it. I'm kind of convinced he does think they're real. At least he doesn't like Frozen because Frozen is incredibly annoying. I guess my grandma also has her little Disney fan side as well because she is obsessed with Hannah Montana. Not Miley Cyrus, but Hannah Montana. Way back in the day when Miley was totally different and she was Hannah Montana and she was go going on her best of both worlds thing, my grandma wanted to go to that tour so badly. She actually cried when my mom went and buy her a Hannah Montana ticket. I honestly don't even even know most of my family members. I really only know like my immediate family, like my parents and my grandma for the most part, and my brother, obviously. But I have occasionally seen my aunt and my uncle. Last time I saw them, they were like telling me how I should leave the internet because the internet is just such a scary world. My life would suck. Whenever they go on vacations, all they tend to want to do, I don't really go with them, but they were telling us this, is they like to go and like tour grocery stores. This is all just really uninteresting me. I really don't find grocery stores interesting in the least bit. I don't at all find them exciting to go to. So for me, that was a little bit weird to hear. So at my grandpa's front door, I actually think her lock has been broken for quite a few years now. She actually just puts a chair in front of the door. And that doesn't really seem too smart because if there was a burglar, just go push the door through and then yeah. There's a lot of really painful gum operations where you probably do need Novocaine or more drugs than that, obviously. My dad is so bad with getting his teeth done that he even gets Novocaine when he's just getting a cleaning. I don't know if my grandma still does do this or not because I would assume you get in some major trouble. She would just call the police or the fire department and she would just ask them totally pointless questions that she was curious on that really were not at all emergencies like how the weather forecast is going to be or she would ask them directions on how to get to a certain place in the town. My mom will always do this thing where she starts freaking out and she thinks she lost a credit card or a receipt or something like that. So ah! Oh my gosh, huge bee. Oh my gosh, what is that thing? All right, so anyways, she'll start like freaking out and she'll be like, where's my credit card? She kind of freaks out how I just freaked out when I just saw that bug. Legit like two seconds later, she realizes it's right in her purse. Then she's like, oh, there it is. Whenever she hears a song, or even sometimes when she's singing to herself, although I made up songs about her dog or whatever, she'll start doing all these super annoying dances. She does this kind of thing and then she does this and then she's just kind of like, oh yeah, guys. My dad saw that Twilight was one of the best-selling books back when Twilight was really big. So my dad actually decided to read Twilight. I'm guessing 
not intending that it was a book mostly made for 13 year old girls. I kind of actually hate Twilight to be honest. No offense if you like Twilight. He actually loved it and he decided to read all four of the book series, even the sexual one. My dad is officially a Twi dad. My mom will always start doing all these weird stretches, like she'll just be like, and she always makes the most weird faces. And I always think she's just trying to annoy me, but she says she's not. So as you guys can see, now you know why I'm crazy. I'm not really bashing my family at all. Just saying like, you know, some crazy things that they do. I really can't be bashing them at all because I'm probably the most insane one out of everybody. Hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, then be sure to give it a like because it really helps me out. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not yet. And then you can see a new video from me every single Monday. Comment below some things that make your family a crazy. Cause you know, I think everyone's a little insane. And yeah, and see you guys next time. Bye!